Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Joe Remblance and it's time for the softer side. It is our weekly destination needlecraft show. So we'll be looking at all things at needlecraft. It's where we talk about crocheting and a whole host of other awesome uh, crafts that are super mindful and I know you guys absolutely love. I know so many out of you out there uh, were paper crafters and now have transitioned into soft crafters and you've got machines and you're sewing and creating all sorts of wonderful things and we really, really love that. Now, uh, we haven't worked together, certainly not this year, certainly not for a little while, uh, but my friend Bernie Corner is back in the studio with us today. Bernie, how are you? Your hair, Bernie. It's looking fabulous. You're like the Pocahontas of Crafters TV at the moment. I don't know what you're doing to it, but it looks yeah, gorgeous. It's it's very long. Look, it needs a bit Look of a haircut. Look how shiny it is. But I've been using a new shampoo and conditioner. Oh, and what I one you been it. using? Absolutely, it's a ginger. Ginger. Shampoo. I don't know if I can say the brand, but it's a ginger. Oh, one. go on, tell us the brand. Um, it's alright if you're saying it's fabulous. It's from the Body Shop. Oh, okay. So my, my niece runs it, and she um, recommended it to me. And yeah, I've been using it. So I haven't got my hair pinned up today. So later on, if I'm like like this because my hair's getting on my nerves, I'll be getting my clip out and clipping it <laughs> <laughs> We can put some quilt and clips in it for you if I you can, want a little bit later. That might, got them uh, that might be nice. Uh, now, Bernie, there's loads coming up uh, in the show today, isn't there? What are we going to go through? What are you going to share with us? What are we going to learn over the next couple of hours? We're going to learn all about what you can do with a half metre of fabric and more. We've got so much fabric on the show. We've got a mystery fabric bundle, which I'm so excited Ooh. about. We've got dyes. We've got um, applique dyes and patchwork dyes. We've also got the fabric cutter. So if anyone caught me on wake up call with Craig this morning, they'll have saw a little sneaky glimpse of that. So we've got that as well. You can go back and catch up on that. Obviously after you've watched us, of course. And then we've got some bag making as well. So we've got a really, really, really packed show as usual. You know what I'm like, Joe? So on to the last second and I'll get as much done as I can. Ah, you really have. What is that awesome thing to your right over there before we get cracking? It's like a massive tea cosy. It is. Well, it's a sewing machine cover oh. and it's actually decorated using the first item we've got, uh, well, the first dies we've got on the show, our Hawaiian dies. Oh, I'm so excited to see those. Now, you guys are all excited as well, because this first item we're going to share with you, we love it when we have these, but we just don't have them anywhere near as often as we would like, and it's our mystery fabric bundle. So what it basically is, is in the uh, warehouse, uh, which is just a few miles down the road in Spennymoor, uh, we cut all of our, meet, our fabric meterage by hand. And what it ends, it means is we end up with some sort of end of line uh, meterage. So what we do is we take all of those half meters, we put them together in a bundle and we give you the most amazing price on them. The thing is, it's completely at random. So you might get a few bits of the same, you might get completely different ones. The great thing is as well, uh, with sort of a fabric mystery bag rather than a paper crafting one is if you get the same item twice it doesn't really matter because you can just make a bigger project you can make more projects I'm going to give you a little sort of sneaky peek as to some of the stuff that could be in the bag uh, when you order this 10% of the stock has already gone and the stock has only just gone live this morning but you could be getting some of our gorgeous <gasps> Be happy fabric it's all half meters now there's lots isn't there lots of um projects, Bernie, that you can do with a half metre or a half yard. What sort of things could we create with a half metre or a half yard of fabric? I'll keep going through these, by the so way. Straight away with a half a metre, you're going to be able to make a cushion out of it and have some pieces left over to make bags. You could make little makeup bags, boot covers, quilts, because at the end of the day with Patchwork Joe, we cut and fabric up to stitch back together again in a pretty pattern. So it doesn't matter what size you've got. And also as well, it's great for um, your scrap projects as well. So all those little scraps that you, you make, that you've got left, keep them all. There's actually a technique called crumb quilting. I'll, I'll do it on one of, one of my shows. One of my shows coming up when I've got something on that's suitable for it. I'll show you how to do a little bit of crumb quilting. You're going to use up, so you're not, going to, you're not really throwing anything away. So you can use every last inch of it. And also as well, you can use them for your backing, so for your table runners. If you're doing quilting, if you've got some of the pattern fabric, pattern fabric's more forgiving. So if you are practicing with, you've got your quilt and pattern guides and things like that. You know, if you are practicing and you go a little bit wonky and you're not happy with it, if you've got like a patterned 
fabric on the back. You're not going to see it. Joe's got that big bag there. I've got a, I've got my sort of um, bag full to start doing all my prep with, and I've got totally different ones in that as well. So Ooh. it's absolutely fantastic. So you're going to get a really good range. And there's nothing like a surprise when it oh. comes because you know what you've ordered, but you don't. So it's like Christmas again. It and really it's only is. January. It's like it's like you get the sort of joy of ordering it twice because you order it and you think, oh, it's so exciting. And then it turns up and you have all the excitement again, which is wonderful. Um, I must let you know, even though it's a mystery bag with an awesome price, you can use your Club Inspire discount. £16 for platinum members in the UK, $20 for platinum members in the US. I said 10% of the stock has gone already. Now 15% of that stock has already sold out and gone. Remember, you're going to get six. Uh, you're going to get six mystery half meters. What I can tell you you're going to get though is great quality because all of the fabrics that we stock here at Crafters Companion are high quality quilting quality cotton. So it doesn't matter what sort of style you get. And let's face it, if you get one in there that you're not particularly keen on, you just use it for lining <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, so it's really great. At that price, um, it's really, really awesome value for money. You're looking at just over three pounds per half meter. That's before your Club Inspired discount comes off of there as well. The fabric glue pen sticks too. This is, uh, they're like hen's teeth as Ali Ann would say these. We've really struggled to keep these in stock. Uh, so it's fantastic that we've got that. We don't have as many of these to go around as we would like. 5.49 or 7.99 if you want to get your hands on those ones just there. Now, we're gonna have a look at some bags. We've got an awesome collection of bag dies available for you on the show today, which is awesome. Uh, they're all available individually for you as well. So I'm gonna go through them. The first one that we've got makes this. It makes the pocket tote bag, uh, as you can see just here. 23.99 if you are in the UK, 31.96. Uh, if you are, of course, of course, in the US. And what you've got in there are all of the dies, all of the instructions that you need. You've got full video tutorials available online as well to show you how to put these together. That's the first option you can go for. There, we put them all on, on, on Should I try that again? We've put them all on individually so you can build your own bundle. This next one here, this is your uh, savvy shopper. This one's reversible, uh, which is awesome. So it could be, uh, you know, day to night. You could take it to the office and then you could take it out with the girls a little bit later in the evening. Uh, let your hair down, put a bit of extra rouge on your away. Uh, we've got one extra, one more here for you as well. Uh, and this this one just here is also gorgeous, and that is the beautiful clutch uh, that we've got just there. That fabric is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, it matches, it. do you know what? Hello, <laughs> move over from Paris to Milan to Newton Aycliffe. Oh yeah, we are here. Talk about stylish, Bernie. I absolutely love it. So we've got those. Um, they are gonna be super busy. We're gonna see some demonstrations on those, hopefully a little bit later in the show. Let me see who's having a chat with us and where everyone is tuning in from. Rosalind's in from Maryland. Eleanor is here in Pennsylvania. Jennifer in Michigan. I see Sharon in Staffordshire. Jackie, Mary, Gilmore, Katie, Evelyn. They're all in today. Uh, the Enchanted Craft Fairy says hello, Joe and Bernie. Hello, Enchanted Craft Fairy. I'm not sure that is maybe uh, your actual. I love the. Uh, Usernames that you give yourself on YouTube. Some of them absolutely hilarious. Sonia says, hey, y'all, good morning again. So glad I was able to catch this Softer Side show. Hi, Joe, and everyone uh, at, at their, at, sorry, at their, should I? What, this is not a good start, is it, Bernie? <laughs> This is You're not, not a good doing start. Well this it's my last day, Bernie. It's fake oh, Friday today, you see. This is why. Uh, <laughs> Shall I try Sonia's comment again? I think we should start from the top. Hey, y'all, good morning again. So glad I was able to catch this softer side show. Hi, Joe, and everyone at Crafts Companion. Hello, Sonia. And Lynn says, good afternoon, Joe, Bernie, the CTV team, and everyone. Right, we have also got the Hawaiian applique on the show for you. I'm just going to quickly run through uh, the different ones that you're getting here in this collection. So you're going to get the pineapple, uh, which is this one here. You've also got uh, the tea leaf. You've also got this one just here, which is the breadfruit 
And you've got, oh, I've left one under here. What am I like? Uh, and you've also got here as well, of course, the hibiscus, which is brilliant. Um, let me share with you some of the things that you're able to make with these as well, because look at the gorgeous, um, the gorgeous projects you're able to do. How about something like a wonderful table runner using lots of these, uh, repeating them time and time again. Uh, I've, my makeup uh, bag, 20% of the stock of that mystery fabric bundle has gone, by the way. Um, my um, makeup bag that I've got has actually got one of these Hawaiian appliques on it that Leanne made for me uh, with, with some, was it you or was it Leanne, Bernie? It was Leanne, was it Was the it cork? Leanne? With was a cork, cork fabric, it? yes. Yeah, it was Leanne, yeah. But do you know what, Bernie, I need, I need a favour. What me, do you need? It's, start, it's starting to peal off. I think it might need stitching on, you know. All oh, right, I'll Is that all right? Do you need you? to sort that yeah. out for me? We've Thanks for that. We've got the glue on the show. We've got Sorry? the Kalel glue on the show as well, which would be perfect for that. Oh, oh maybe oh. I should give that a go. Yeah. I'll Great sort that idea. out for you, John. All right, we'll sort it out a little bit later in the show. I'd love for you to send me in some pictures of anything that you've been making and creating. Uh, or maybe if you've got things at home that other people have made for you. Maybe if you've got beautiful quilts or lovely cushions or, you know, anything soft crafty. Maybe you've got gorgeous throws or loose covers and you want to share with us some of your favourite things. I'd love to see them today. Studioandcrafterscompanion.co.uk The theme that we had running in the earlier show as well, Bernie, was random facts. Maybe even useless facts. So I don't know if you've got any. Have a little think about it as we go through the show, Bernie, uh, and uh, we'll have a little chat about it. If you've got any at home as well, you want to let me know them, you can do so on Facebook over on Crafters TV. On Facebook, that's the feed we're monitoring. Search for us over on YouTube by searching for Crafters Companion. Um, yeah, and let me know. Uh, we were saying, producer Laura agreeing, I do too, that I think Bernie is going to be, her fat game's going to be strong, I think, Bernie. I've got one actually. I've Have got, you? I've got a, a random is. fact, and it's about me actually. Oh, um, I think I know it. it uh, oh. Someone mentioned it in the earlier show. No, it's another one. I was oh. going to mention it, but I thought, no, I'll keep it and keep that one for Ooh. another show. I've actually got double jointed toes. <laughs> oh, Bernie! <laughs> I'm not showing you them. <laughs> I but love yeah, that. It's weird. I've got double jointed. I've not double jointed anywhere else, but I've got double jointed toes. Our yeah. very own resident <laughs> contortionist, Bernie <laughs> Corner, uh, there. Right, Bernie, I know you were really keen uh, to demonstrate these Hawaiian dyes first. For anyone that's new to these, not new with the concept, Hawaiian dyes or Hawaiian plique, it's a style that's been around for a really long time, isn't it? It has, yeah. So it did start in Hawaii, um, and the dates left me at the minute because I did do a lot of research. And it was it, I don't remember if it was six, eight, no, I think it was eighteen something. That what used to happen was, um, obviously years ago everything was hand sewn because they didn't have sewing machines. But what they used to do was sort of make do a men's sort of thing like we we do now, and they would cut up the old claws and then put them onto extra fabric to have uh, to make a quilt. And they all had meaning. So the, the patterns were really plain fabrics because that was what they had really. But I think nowadays, obviously, you can make them more um, modern now and use pattern fabrics as well. But you want either a plain design or a plain background for it to pop. And then what used to happen was they used to get folded up and put on the bed, but you weren't allowed to sit on them. They were, they were, they were to be put over you at night but if you sit well, they're on like them, bum runners. So, I suppose a bit like that, yeah. Like a sort of uh, an old time bum runner. Bed runner, Maybe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you weren't you weren't allowed to sit on them. So it was I don't know if it was bad luck, but you weren't allowed to sit. So there's another random fact that you couldn't sit on the quilt, but you could have them on you over you in bed to keep you warm. And then obviously now everything becomes more modernised, doesn't it? And we've got sewing machines now that can do it. But this one that I've got here, that I keep lovingly touching because I absolutely love it, this one here, when I turn it over, you'll be able to tell more that this actually has been hand-stitched. If I turn it over, you can see the hand-stitching on there. And that is how, traditionally, how it would have been done. There would have been a running stitch all the way around the design just to secure it in place. Because, like I say they didn't have machines when they were making these so what we've done is we've brought this set of four out um which are a lot of the traditional ones pineapple is one of the main the main ones that people are going to recognize as hawaiian dyes but i'm going to let you choose joe which one i'm going to demo so which oh, one which one would you like i me have to an do? absolute out and out favorite and that is the breadfruit i love 
the breadfruit one. Can we do that? I need to let you know uh, a quarter of the stock of that fabric bundle has sold out and gone. It's getting busier and busier and busier. You can multi-order on it, of course. It is a complete mystery. Uh, it's a complete random selection. What you will get, though, are six super high quality, quilting quality cotton, half meters of fabric. So it's not often we get to do them. I don't think we have enough to love to show. Definitely grab it uh, whilst we have it there in stock. Uh, and I guess whatever you get, you can, the thing is with fabric burning, it's not like uh, other types of things. You need fabric to soft craft, don't you? It is like the one thing you need. It's the bread and butter. It's the cardstock uh, of uh, sewing, I guess. It is, yeah. And you can't have enough fabric. Uh, I don't even count how many metres of fabric I've got. I've got a lot. <laughs> but it's, I've got enough. Never, never got enough. So this is my bundle that I've got to play with at home. So I've got a mixture. I've got some of the country yard here we had on. I've got a lovely um, plain blender, which is great to mix with. And then I've got these ones, which were um, the Someday range, Riley Blake Someday range. I mean, this fabric on its own, this was, I'm sure it was 7 99 a half metre. You're getting six half metres in the bundle for £20. 20 pound? So, mm, you know, really, you really great value. you're getting really, really good value yeah. for winning. Club members, £16 or $20. I mean, that is a, that's an awesome, awesome price. No brainer, really. Lots of you multi-ordering. Uh, I can hear uh, some of you going for threes and fours of those, uh, which is why actually a third of the stock has now gone. It's going really, really fast. I just need to let you know that. It's def definitely worth it, definitely worth it. Right, so I've got one of the Sunday's fabric in. I, if I remember rightly, this one is the hot pink. And as our Lizzie says it, hot, hot pink. <laughs> It's my little impression of Lizzie there. So what I've got here now, if I show you this die first, just so you can see it and think, well, how am I going to get to that from what you were showing me before on that cushion? Because it was four of them together. So the best way you can, I can do is, you know, when you were little, John, you used to fold paper up and then cut it into a snowflake and open it up. Yeah. That's the same principle here. You're cutting it while your fabric is folded. Okay. So it gives you that four. Obviously, if we did the die, to fill it, you're going to have a 12 inch die which isn't going to fit through your machine and obviously there's a lot of cost there so to keep obviously to give you a good price as well you cut it into four but what you can do is cut them singly and if you want to cut them you can make little coasters love as well. that you know so really you don't like have singly. to you don't have to do the the folded one you can do individual i mean have them all over a table and have the centerpiece as the four like um the full one and then these as your mats around the outside they are going to look fantastic. And I say, you're going to have all that fabric to choose from. You can do basically as many as you want. So I've got that fabric here and I've cut a square. And then what I've got on the back here, I think I've got, it looks like paper stuck on the back. This is called um, Heat and Bond. So we do have some on the website, but I know it was going quite quickly. So I don't know if there's any still left Ooh. in stock. We'll but have a little look back and see in. if it's in stock. Yeah, it will come back in to so keep, keep an eye on it. So what I've done is I've folded it into four. And the most important thing is to make sure that your folds are lined up to make sure they're flush. So then I'm going to take them to my plate. So I've got my clear plate here. I've got my metal shim. And then I've got my fabric here. And then what I do is I like to turn it so I can see the fold here. And then you want to place your die. And these, there's little lips sticking out of here they just want to overhang and that'll mean that you won't get any um gaps in your fabric and this is one that you really really want to take down just to get it as accurate as you can and the thing is if it doesn't quite catch all you're going to have is a couple of little threads that you'll need to trim um i know we've got those embroidery scissors on the show today we do, they're yes. perfect for little little snips when you've got little threads to snip um i've always got mine mine to hand there we go so i've taped that down i've got that there and then i'm going to get my plastic shim and my other clear plate so that's our regular sandwich for your multimedia dies because that's what these are awesome whilst you're just running that through can i just quickly recap the details of that mystery bag uh, because snooze you lose yo sonia said in the comments joe can you recap the mystery bag i didn't quite get it at the, at the top of the show and sonia for you uh, I can do absolutely uh, anything, Sonia. Uh, so I will quickly recap it for you. You will get six 
random half meters of fabric. This one that we got, and all we've done basically is ordered one of these from our warehouse. So this could have been one that was going out to you. You've got the Be Happy fabric. You guys know that this is my all time favorite fabric range, and this is uh, my favorite one from it as well. So you could be getting that. Maybe you're gonna get some plain fabrics, which we all need uh, for grounding, for borders. Maybe you're gonna use it for binding or any of those different things. Half meters mean you can do loads of great things from um, things like pillows, um, not pillows. What was I? Got, what am I going for? Cushion Cushions. covers. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's what I was thinking of. Do you know what I was talking? Why I was saying that, Bernie? It's because I'm really love the idea of a book pillow uh, for little ch kids. I've seen them done recently. I think they're so cute. It's like a nice little sort of big cushion that you can put on the floor, and then you slot the pillow in the back. They are so so nice. But there you go. Everyone will receive six mystery half, uh, six half meters, uh, all quilting quality cotton. 20, 20 pounds or twenty-five dollars. Now that's sixteen pounds for platinum members in the UK, $20 uh, for platinum members in the US. However, 40% of the stock has now gone and there are a lot of you in the ordering process. We're only 20 minutes into this show. If you're watching this show back at a later date, please check the website uh, for the stock situation. Sorry about that, Bernie. I just don't want anyone to miss out on that gorgeous uh, fabric. That's okay. I can look at fabric all day long. I could... In fact, when I go to look at fabric, I have been known to hug bolts of fabric and smell hug them, them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very. Strange. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a vellum sniffer, you know. A bit of a what? Yeah, sniffer. vellum sniffer. Oh, vellum. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of vellum. It's gorgeous. I've not sniffed vellum. I've not mm. sniffed that, but fabric is. I'll fabric. get some vellum, uh, and you can have a good old whiff of it next time Thank you're in. You. I like the smell of a new book. You know, when you oh, get a new yeah. book. Oh yeah, I love the smell of a new book. So I've got a top tip for you when awesome. you're doing these Hawaiian dyes so when I've taken off I've left this I've still got the dye underneath and I've turned it over and took the clear plate and the metal shim off and just peeled the tape away because obviously there my, that was taped down what I do is I like to pull it from this side so what I do is I'll put my finger in where it needs to lift and it actually comes away a lot easier so you'll find then if you do have any little nicks or anything that you need to use your scissors for you can do that awesome. and what you might find is if there's a little nick it might just be where the um, because obviously you're going through four layers of fabric and four layers of paper and that glue in between so, you've so got it's a lot, lot isn't it you've got a lot of layers in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my embroidery scissors I'll just get them out of my Tool tidy. Oh, we've got that on the show I for love you. Me tool tidy. We'll flash the details up for that. Love it. Love me tool tidy. You can just get everything in there. So what you can do is just do the little snip. Tell you what, I'll pull it out first and then do the little snips. And then it just lifts easier. And what you find is if your fabric's maybe a little bit thick and you're struggling to take it out, you can always run it through again at that point because it's still in situ. So I'm just going to take this away. Now, this takes a minute or two. Okie doke. Just to make sure that you get Because what you don't want to do is sort of rag your fabric and pull it, and then it'll fray. So if you've got any little snips, I say them embroidery scissors. So if I'll just... Uh, take this out of this jaw no problem uh, loads of people chatting away with us uh, bernie love your top uh, says katie uh, it looks lovely on you isn't that pretty isn't that a lovely thing to say uh, colette Thank says you. good morning from kansas uh, a pretty sunrise is beginning if this is a question for you if kansas is pronounced kansas why isn't arkansas pronounced arkansas oh that's a good one i know that's a Why good is one, one Kansas? The other one should be called our Kansas, surely. Um, Mary Pat's got two favourites with these. She's got, uh, she loves the pineapples. Uh, she also loves the hibiscus uh, as well. Sonia, snooze you lose Sonia, uh, says, I bought two of the bag dyes and faux leather with matching cotton fabric. So I can't wait to try those uh, type of dyes for the first time. Sonia, have you got any pictures you want to send in of your recent makes? Because Sonia, you see, was a uh, was a soft crafter, and then we converted her into a paper crafter. That's really? how Sonia's journey went. Yes. Right. Uh, so Sonia, uh, if you've got any pictures of makes that you've done recently, I'd love to see them. Studio at Crafters Companion. .co.uk uh, is where you need to send those into. Lynn says book pillows are lovely for children. Uh, they do love the idea of sliding their books into a pocket on the pillow. I think books are, uh, when it comes to presents for 
basically anyone that's under like 12 or 13 years old for Christmas and birthdays, I always buy them books as presents. And I don't know if that's me just, but I don't think it's a lazy thing to go to. I just think it's such a lovely gift uh, for someone a book because everyone's into something, aren't they, in book form. But I do wish I could sew so I could make nice book pillows uh, to pop them into because I think that would be a lovely, uh, lovely gift to add there as well. Uh, Felicia, hey Felicia, says this is uh, my first time watching. Do you know what? Where, where are you watching us from, Felicia? Uh, I'd love to know. Any other first time viewers that we've got out there, always drop into the comments and let me know. If you are commenting away, of course, uh, on Facebook, you need to make sure that you're on the Crafters TV Facebook page. That's where we are looking at the comments. That's where you can slide into the DMs. Or if you are, of course, over on YouTube, uh, then absolutely uh, search for Crafters Companion there and one of our social media superstars will come and pick that up. I want you to come back and I want to recap for you that mystery bag again because it is really busy. Over 40% of the mystery bag uh, has sold out and gone. Remember what you're getting? Six awesome. I feel like uh, I'm going to pull a rabbit or something out of here in a minute. You're getting six awesome half metres of fabrics over 40% now gone though. Platinum members, £16. You can multi-order $20 for platinum members in the US. How are you getting on over there, Bernie? I've got it. I was being ultra careful, Joe, because I'm wanting to show off and show you how you do the negative as well so you've got no waste. We all love a show off, Bernie. So, I'm not going to lie. Know, I was thinking this has taken me a while, but I was being ultra careful. So what you're doing here is just opening it all out. And obviously you've got the paper behind. I haven't peeled the paper off yet. I've left that on. Because in good um, style, I've actually got one that I've already pressed onto some fabric. Uh, Gilmore's, but, uh, Gilmore's agreeing with me uh, over on Facebook, Bernie. He says, yes, indeed. If Kansas is Kansas, why is Arkansas not Arkansas? I don't know, Gilmore. You tell me. Uh, it's a funny old language, English, isn't it? It is. It's strange, isn't it? So there we go. So I've got that one laid out there. So that's the actual one that you get from the die. I'm just going to move that out the way a second. And I just want to show you the negative. Now, to me, this is brilliant because you've got no waste at all. And we don't like waste in fabric at all. But what this, so this heat and bond on the back is it's a glue. So what you're going to do is put this onto some fabric and then iron it down. But now, can we see, we've got the negative image of the design. And then there was that little bit out the middle. If I put that in as well, this to me, if you're making a bag and make bag panels, put one, put the, um, I don't, what's the opposite of negative? Positive. Positive. <laughs> the positive on one side and the negative on the other side. And then you get, I mean, that's going to be brilliant with your fabric underneath. If I bring one in that I've got one pressed onto, onto one that I've actually done a little bit of stitching, just so you can see. So we can see there how we've got Beautiful, that design that. on there. And this is the, um, this is the someday's fabric as well. And actually I got this one in my fabric bundle oh, as well. So I've got treat, three. Bernie. I got three from the same fabric range. So they went, they, well, they go perfectly together. But you can just see how I ironed that down. And then all I've done here is I've just stitched a line oh, across wow. each one. So because it's ironed, it's there. Now you could do your fancy stitches or, you know, your zigzag fancy. stitches around the outside, a running stitch. You can do a hand stitch like that one. Um, on that. Do you like hand mat. stitching? Because I know, like, uh, the lovely Lizzie, she loves hand stitching, doesn't she? No. I'm you, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. Fair enough. No, horses for courses. We salute your honesty, Bernie. We yeah, really well, do. Well, that's it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I tell no lies, Joe. I'm, I'm not a hand stitcher. However, I do like doing English paper piecing. So, although that's hand stitching, I find that really therapeutic. So to sit and do like little whip stitches, but to do a lot of them, um, no, I did years ago, I used to do a lot of cross stitch. Okay. Yeah, I did use a lot of cross stitch. So I've got cross this. Cross stitch, is that stitching when you're not in a very good mood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, that was bad, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah, we'll let you, we'll let you have that one, Joe. But here's <laughs> another one that has been cut up. So we've got the, um, this is the tea leaf, I believe. Yes, this is the tea leaf one. And what's happened is, 
um, I think it was Zoe that might have made this. I'm not sure. Forgive me if it wasn't. But what, what um, the team have done is they've cut out the pieces with the dye and then they've cut those up and rearranged them onto the fabric, hand sewn a running stitch in a variegated thread around the outside and then put it in an embroidery hoop. So if I take that bottom one away, how effective and different is that? I love embroidery. I love um, hoop art, I call it. I don't know if that's the main, um, the proper name for it. But I love hoop art because I think you can change it. So after you've done one for a while, you think, oh, I'm fed up with that one now. I'm going to put another one and still use the same hoop and then just keep your pieces in a box and then you can always get them back out again and swap them back. Mm. So yes, yeah, so they are a Hawaiian dyes. They're so easy to use. I've got, um, I know we've got loads of other stuff to demo. But so much stuff. They'll go through your cork, as you know, because that was on your bag, what Leanne made. Yeah, yet. absolutely. I've got four leather here. I've got glitter fabric, it's going to go cut through them absolutely no problem. And then you can then stick those, or well, you can stitch them as well. But you could actually use the glue stick pen, of the course, 6 2 pen, or the Cloud Textile glue as well. They are awesome. going to stick them down on your projects. And then lastly, you make your 3D items where we've got this gorgeous sewing machine cover. And this is the hibiscus, which is this is the national flower of Florida. Is it? Got anyone in Florida watching? There yeah. you are. Yeah. Do you know what the uh, national animal of Scotland is? I don't know. I'll let you have a think about it at home before I give no. you the answer. And I need to. I need to uh, Google. I'm waiting for the googling. She's national. on it. Laura's on it. I know she's oh, on it. She's so on it. Now, you're you're going to check for me because I don't want to say it. I don't want to make a sweeping statement, Laura, and then it be wrong. The national animal of Scotland. I'm going to let you know. You're going to you're going to you're going to chuckle when you when you you find out what it is. Um, I am correct anyway. Okay, let's just take a moment to recap what you're getting in here. So you're getting four awesome dies in here. I just need to talk to you about the price because I knew the price was good, but I just hadn't realised quite how amazing the price was. Should be 119.96. We've sold them many many times at that price. In the US, 139.80 would be your combined price. Um, today though. As a club, well, 35.98, 41.94 is an awesome price. Club Inspire Platinum members, 28.78 or 33.55. It's way under less than 10 pounds or 10 dollars per die, which is incredible value. Do you want to know what you're saving as a Club Inspire Platinum member? 91 pounds, 18 pence, or 106 dollars and 25 cents. I think it's amazing. It's an awesome, awesome deal. They are really super cool. I think they're very on trend at the moment. You're going to have a lot of fun with them, whether you're sticking them, you're machine stitching them, you're hand stitching them, whether you're using the positive, you're using uh, the negative. There's so many different things you're going to be able to do with them. I know you're absolutely going to love them. A couple of other things that I want to share with you. Quilting clips. We did talk about doing uh, Bernie's lovely luscious locks with these earlier, but that's not what they're for. <laughs> these are basically for if you, some people like to pin, some people like to, to clip. It's horses for courses. There are things, of course, that can't be pinned. I'm talking about leather, uh, faux leather, oil cloth, those kind of things. Anything that if you pin it, you're going to leave that hole in it afterwards. This is where your quilting clips are going to come into play. And they are great at holding together your projects as you sew them through. $4.99 or $6.95, they are always selling out something else that's going to be awesome you're going to love uh, all of our collar adhesives are always very popular here at crafts tv this is the collar textile glue that you've got here when we've used this is it machine washable this one bernie can we if i was to stick something on my jeans can i then put them in the wash afterwards it's washable yes up to 40 degrees up to 40 so, degrees yeah. well that's awesome because i don't know about you uh, i only wash everything at 30 degrees at home why why are you why do you why would you want to wash anything higher than 30 degrees that's what i don't understand um my bedding i do my I bedding my i do bedding, yeah actually that's a good point yeah. bedding and towels both get washed at 60 everything else at 30 and i don't tumble dry anything ever only my bedding and my towels. Yeah. I don't have a tumble dryer. Don't I even. Don't I don't. Know. I don't tumble dry my underwear either. Do you know why? Because <laughs> the elastic goes wrinkly. You know the elastic around the top. <laughs> it goes wrinkly. I just put it on the clothes horse and I put it. You don't need to know about my laundry routine. Why am I even talking? 
Why am I talking about this? Half the stock of the mystery fabric uh, has sold out and gone. Let me recap what you're getting in here. Guys, it is so busy on this. Half's gone. It, the stock was only popped on the website this morning and loads of you are in the ordering process as well at the moment. So let me take you through. This is just a random one that we've taken from the warehouse that they've sent us. So it could be absolutely any of the fabrics that you've ever seen. But what happens is because we cut our fabrics by hand uh, over in the warehouse, the guys over there cut it to order by the meter, it means that at the end of the massive bolts, every now and then, we're left with sort of random half meters. So these all get put to one side. And then what we do is we give you an awesome price on them. So we've got a couple of lovely florals in here, which is brilliant. Then we've got, I can't believe this is in here, Bernie, because you know how I feel about this. Our Be Happy fabric. Um, I don't think this is a, I didn't think this was available to order anymore, you know, the, the Be Happy fabric. I thought it was finished and gone. So if you are to get that in your mystery bag, you'll be very lucky. As we were talking about earlier, a half metre or a half yard, as you might refer to it, in the US is a great, awesome size to do things like handbag projects, to do um, cushion covers with. There's loads of different things that you can do with it. You might get some planes in there as well, which of course are always great uh, for blocking out with your uh, patterns. <gasps> Look at that gorgeous pop of colour right there. Now, £20 or $25 is awesome because it's less than half price uh, if you were to buy the meterage individually. And also, what I'll say is the usual price of £41.96 or £52.86, that is worst case scenario. Some of these bags will have a lot more value in them than that because obviously it is a mystery bag and that is nature. But we always go uh, with worst case scenario. So you're going to get at least that amount of money's worth for £20. However, if you're in the UK, £16. Definitely order multiples would be my top tip, as lots of you are. It's why the stock is going so quickly. How much of the stock's gone now, Laura? Half the stock has gone. Lots of you in the ordering process as well at the moment. Please don't miss out on that. $25 in the US becomes $20, uh, dollars, of course, uh, with your Club Inspire Platinum discount. In fact, you know what? If you wanted to get free shipping and you wanted to order four of these, so get to $100, you'd get, what, six half metres, that's three metres, Three, six. You could get 12 metres of fabric, quilting quality cotton, for $100, and you get it delivered totally free of charge as well. So there is food for thought. It is going really quickly. Lots of you uh, are in the ordering process. Right, mitre tool and heat erasable markers. Uh, that is what we are going to be looking at next. It's the heat erasable, sorry, it's the Threaders Mitre Tool Bundle. Uh, £16.50 or $22. What does the term, for anyone that is fairly new to sewing, mitre actually mean, Bernie? So what a mitre is, is when two angles are meeting right. to make a corner. Um, but it can be different degrees. So th the most common one that people are going to see a uh, mitre corner on is a quilt. So if you've got the square quilt and you've got your 45 degree corner as you put your binding on. So that's the main thing what people normally think of if you, if you talk about mitred corners. However, you can also have ones like this where Love it's that. actually mitred each piece is mitered down and then this one the backing fabric is actually the binding as well so it's all in one and that's the one that i'm actually going to demo to show you how to do rather than a night because i know you can go when you get your product you get all of your instructions in there it looks like a lot there's different languages in there as you know we do in different languages so you're going to put your keep your language put the others aside so you've got full pictures in there on how to do it you are also getting full videos by yours truly online that i hold your hand through every single step so if you're not sure about it watch the video a couple of times and then it clicks because i know when i first started doing corners and it, it, it's sometimes you look and think you're trying to get your head around it and if you're not you know if you're not very good at working the figures out you don't need to when you've got the mitre tool and then the brilliant one which i love i always show this sample every time how would you ever attempt to put binding on that i love that isn't that brilliant so our sally made this in the design team it's absolutely fantastic sally if you're watching you just wouldn't you wouldn't attempt it because you, you'd have to get, well, I suppose you'd have to have a compass or, you know, not a compass, a protractor. You know, they're protractors from school. You'd have to have all sorts out to get those angles to make that. So I'm actually going to show you how we use it. So 
when you first look at it, it is a piece of um, acrylic. And it's got a number of lines on here and angles, and each angle is marked. So we've got a 90 degree, 135, 120, 60, and a 45. There's also a line all the way around the outside. Now that line is key because that line is a quarter of an inch. So if we can see there. So if ever you're doing something and you want to draw a quarter of an inch line, you can just grab this and draw it on using using this so you're not even using it to mitre it's got other uses as well and then at each angle there's a little hole now that little hole is perfect for your heat erasable pen so when you're marking your corners which i'm going to show you how we do it that pen goes in there and that's why this is a fantastic combination to get i mean we had we were out of stock of these pens for so long and we got them back in, it was a month, a month or so ago, I think, or just before Christmas. I was so excited that we got them back in because I've got, I've got quite a few. And they do last a while, but you will use them a lot because they are heat erasable. So you put them on your fabric, as soon as you put heat on there, put your iron on, or you can put them over your radiator at home. I've done that before, say if you're switching your iron on, if you just want to remove the mark. So shall we see how we do it? So I've got one here that's part done. So you can see what I'm actually going to achieve. So I've got a hexagon here. And I've got, this is my backing fabric. And it's also going to be my binding as well. So similar to that stripey one that I showed you. And what I want is to end up with a lovely corner like that where it's folded over. And then all you're going to do is either machine stitch or hand stitch that. So I'm going to do this opposite side here. And like you see, you've got those instructions there. So you are going to follow it. What it does, it tells you to press all of your fabric in and mine's been flattened just a little bit while it's been in my bag but I'll just give it another finger press because we just want to be able to see that fold line so you can see it there and I'm just going to fold that one there uh, the national animal of Scotland uh, Jules Robb guessed correctly it's a unicorn no way yeah. is it? Is it? and a unicorn is not a horse with a horn on I don't care what you say I'm not having it but I didn't know unicorns were real, Joe. Is that me being naughty, not believing in unicorns? <laughs> I believe in unicorns. I'm not, find you'll f I'm not sure you'll find any in Scotland, though. <laughs> I thought I was going to guess, um, what do you call that wild cat that's in... The wild one. You find a wild cat. The little wild cat. It looks like a tabby cat, but longer haired. A lynx. Bobcat. A bobcat. Oh, that's a very random. Like that. a very random uh, guess. I know. I don't know. Maybe because I've got cats. I was showing Pip Pippa this morning on it. Was a photos were on the show this morning with Craig. And um, next time I send him because I've got three cats as well. So if anyone watched this morning and saw the picture of my dog Pippa, I've actually got three cats as well. <laughs> Wowzers! <laughs> like Doctor Doolittle. It's like a petting house. zoo around yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so I've got my mitre tool here now. When you're working out which angle you're going to use, you don't need to know the number because all you're going to do is place your tool on and you'll know when you've got the right one. So I know that's not the correct one. If I turn it round, there we go. So I know that that fits on perfect. If I move it up, you can just see there. I know that fits on perfect, so that's going to be the one I'm using. So again, and I know this... Um, is in the instructions and what it does it tells you to fold it in half so I'm going to fold over my project and what you want to be interested in is that you've got all your raw edges lined up here okay there we go so we've got that folded over and then we knew which angle it was and if you forget you can pop it back on so I know it's this one which is 120 and then what you need to do is there's a dashed line here and you need to line that dashed line up with the edge of your top of your project and line that up with your fold and that's all you need to do and then draw a line and, and it is in detail on the video as well i go through this in, in exactly so where detail. do we find the video bernie so the video so the link is actually on the on the packaging, packaging is it, it well, home, I, yes. let me investigate for you bernie whilst you're doing that or it may be on the product page but it's in a bundle so it might not be on, oh, on the product if you page. go to it's, it's on the packaging for you so you'll be able to see it, it is uh, crafters companion dot whatever you wherever you go to slash page slash sewing hyphen tools it's right on the back of the packaging for you uh, you can't miss it at the moment you get it home so know that you've got that video tutorial to take you back through because it was actually uh, Rosalind said oh, I'm going to save this because I'm going to forget all of this if you're going for this project Rosalind uh, product don't worry you've got the video there good to go
yeah so that's that's it it, it is it is really detailed as well it was quite long when we were filming um i can't remember who it might i don't know if it was producer laura it might have been johnny who was filming but it was quite a long video but we wanted it to be as detailed as possible so you could see it so i've done a line there and then i've done another line there so i've actually got a little um crossing point there and all i'm going to do is stitch down that line so i'm going to pin it i'll pop a couple of pins in because you don't want this to move you want to keep it as as flush as possible at the end so i'm just going to stitch this jaw awesome it's really, really busy. There's a lot of chatter about sort of words and stuff. Crafty AJ wants to know if why are buildings not called builts? It's a good, it's a good, yeah. a good, it's a really good question. Uh, Beth says, well, Joe, not sure about the pronunciation of Arkansas. Why don't we have by or by or there, there and there? I don't know either. I mean, I've, I, I can never use the right one in the right place. Colette says, I don't know that answer either, Joe. And why is Kansas City in Missouri? Why is it not in Kansas of all places? It doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, Unicorn, of course, lots of you talking about that. Um, Cavi says, uh, it's pronounced Arkansas, but the river is Arkansas. Oh, I don't know if I've got that, got that right. Arkansas, yeah. It's confusing, isn't it? It's very, it's very, very strange, confusing. Uh, <laughs> Lynn loves those uh, heat erasable pens. She used a lot of them when she was making her mask. Uh, and Gilmore says, how awesome that the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn. I know, I keep meaning to ask Craig about that, but um, I keep forgetting. Maybe I'll ask him in a later show. Remember, uh, we've got a second edition of The Craft Fault, myself and Craig, uh, coming up at 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Eastern, which is 11 a.m. West Coast. And there's another show after this one, of course. I'll be up with the boss herself, myself and Sarah, here for launch party. We're going to be joined by Tiffany because we've got a brand new Totally Tiffany launch for you coming up. That will be at 4 p.m. UK time, 11 a.m. East Coast, uh, which is 8 a.m. West Coast time. Uh, so make sure you join us for those as well. There we go. I'm ha just while you've been chatting away there, Joe, I've happily... I've happily finished that little corner. Awesome. So I'm going, to, I'm, going to put, I'm going to turn it through again just to show people again, just so you can see what we've done. So what I did, we had it folded. Got me a little bit of, uh, there we go. So we had it folded. I stitched that little bit. It's about two centimetres. Trimmed that off at a quarter of an inch. And then all I did was turned it through. And just with my nail, or you can use a little porky tool just to get a point. And this is one of the reasons why you press it first, because you've already got that fold line in, that is going to tuck under there perfectly. I'll pin it to keep it there. And because we've pressed it, it's going to go in there perfectly. There we go. There we go. And there we've got the perfect mitered corner and you haven't even put any binding on because you've used the backing as your binding you're going to do the same on these are the four and then there we've got a lovely um little placemat or coaster love that yeah beautiful really lovely um very very busy on that remember what you're getting you're getting the heat erasable pens and you're getting uh, the mitre tool together uh which is fantastic so you've got both of those which is awesome. Uh, 16 pounds 50 or 22 dollars. Now, it gets even more confusing, right guys, because whilst Kansas City is in Missouri, there's also a Kansas City in Kansas as well. There's two Kansas cities. I mean, where was, you know, where was Dorothy and Toto trying to get to? When they said we're not in Kansas anymore, they weren't. They could have still been in Kansas, but not in that Kansas. It's very confusing, guys. I don't know how you keep up. And mind you, some of the place names are funniest. We do have some very funny place names here uh, in the UK as well. Right, let's move on to the fabric cutter, because I know you saw this on the uh, Wake Up Call with Craig show of this morning. This is absolutely fantastic. So many of you absolutely love and adore this. And we put it in a bundle today. So what you're going to get is you're going to get the cutter, but then you're also going to get the folding mat as well uh, included in there, the A2 folding mat, which is awesome. Platinum members, you can grab hold of this today. Uh, £52 or $71.20. Uh, that is a saving of almost £38, uh, almost $50 for Club Inspire Platinum members. If you're going 
going for that mystery fabric bundle as well. Still very, very busy on that. And this is going to be the perfect thing uh, for you to cut uh, that down with too. We've seen this a lot of late burning. And I think the reason for that is every time we bring it back, it's always ever popular. What is it about this that people just love so much? It is, it's a really versatile tool. And it, what it is, is it's a combination tool of you've got your acrylic ruler with all of your grid markings on, and then you've got the rotary cutter built in. So a lot of people, I'll just grab my rotary cutter, a lot of people are maybe scared of their rotary cutter because you do have to respect it, it is a sharp blade. And also if people aren't very um, steady um, as they're cutting or they haven't got um, a lot of strength to grip as well, so that's what this is, this is ideal for. So what we've got is a big, space yet 15 by 15 and a half inch grid but that doesn't mean to say you can't cut your small pieces you can cut your large pieces as well i'm going to go straight in and show you how how it actually works i've got so this is what i had to say i've been chopping into it all over the place here on me yeah uh, me mystery me mystery bundle i got excited when i got my parcel as well joe i was like oh which fabric am i going to have so I was very excited. So yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm putting my fabric underneath and I'm saying, right, well, what do I need to cut? So I'm not going to actually measure anything here. I'm just going to cut a piece off just so we can work with it. And all I did there was I just pressed on lightly and it rolled along that track. And what you'll see is at the top, there's a stopper. So it's not going to go anywhere. At the bottom, there's a stopper. So again, it's not going to go anywhere. And you can actually cut towards you, which is what you normally wouldn't do with a rotary cutter because you're bringing a, 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 a naked blade, if you like, towards you. I couldn't think of the right word. I was going to say bear, but then naked... <laughs> a naked blade! <laughs> like naked. Oh, oh put something on, worse, would you? <laughs> put something on, cover yourself up. So because I've got that perfect edge there now, I know that I can line that up. So I'm going to line that up. Let's line it up on the five, the five inch line. Rosalind's then... asking how thick uh, fabric this will cut. Will it oh, cut faux leather and denim? Oh, well, I haven't got any denim with me, but I have got some faux leather. Where did I awesome. put my faux leather? Just bear with me a second. Uh, loads of you still chatting away. Uh, also, Marcy was asking about the heat and bond that you used. Uh, which one was it? Uh, we'll find that out in a second. Bernie, uh, Mary says, Bernie, I learned something new today. I always thought a mitre was 45 degrees, and your definition now makes perfect sense. Yes. Oh, well done, Mary. So, I've got some four leather here, um, and I've got two layers. So, I'm going to cut through two layers first. Absolutely no problem. Let's double that up and cut through four. Now, because, because if you're cutting through four, that means that you're going to need some more pressure. So it means that you will need to press on harder. So all you're going to do is go through once, see if it cuts. There's a tiny wee bit in the middle. Nothing's moved because you've got all of this space, like a footprint, holding that in place. You're going to go back up, press on a little bit harder. Tiny, I didn't press on hard. There we go. And it's cut through four layers. Absolutely Perfect. no problem. And that's the same with your um, cork as well. So, so I haven't got any um, denim with me, but I've got cork here. Here's three layers of cork. Oh, that's quite thick. <laughs> Let's have a go. You're really putting it to the test Absolutely now. Absolutely no at problem that. at all. So it's going to go through your other, your other mediums as well, like your glitter fabric and things like that as well. So you can go through a lot. Fabric-wise, I'll tend to... Depends what I'm doing. But if I am going to be cutting a lot of layers out, I'll possibly go through six layers of fabric. Um, you'd, what you don't want to do is overstretch over yourself. So I've got... What have I got here? Four, shall we do eight? Let's do eight layers. And I say you're getting all your angles on here as well. So Joe, um, I had Craig this morning cutting hexagons. I know, I saw so you they, had him, you got him, uh, you got him involved. He was having a lovely time by the yeah, looks of it when I came in. he'd never used it before. So that's just eight layers there. It just needs an extra little push in the middle. Oh, I think it's because I'm, and what you should do is cut it at the right height so our tables are a, uh, quite high for us to demo on but you would have your correct height the correct 
the correct one is your elbow should be just above the height of your table. So mine's, mine's just a little bit over. So I think that, I, I, I saw that online, but we see all sorts online, don't we? So we'll just be, <laughs> you really just do. be comfortable, just be comfortable. So yeah, so I mean, you can see how much I've cut here. I've cut all of this up. It's absolutely great. And it's got that handle on there as well. So you can carry it around. I do keep mine in the box as well for storage. And then we've got the mat, which I also double up as storage for all of my pieces of fabric. So if I've got blocks and things, or I've cut loads of, there's my hexagon from this morning. So that's a little bit of scrap that'll do for crumb quilting later. So you've got all your pieces in there. You're going to keep them all like that. So you're transporting them. You're going to keep them flat. So if you've nicely ironed everything, you don't want to then put it in a bag and take it into the other room. Mm, or like I take stuff home today and I go to empty my bag and everything's crunched up. When I've got this with me, I'll put anything I've made in here to keep it flat. And then it's a, a start, like storage room as well. And then they actually fit neatly together. Awesome. I think that's fantastic. I know it's ever popular whenever we bring it to you. Remember, you get both items there. So you're getting the cutter and you're getting that mat as well. Uh, we can iron on that as well. Is that right, Bernie? You can do your pressing and stuff on this, on the uh, folding mat. No, so you wouldn't, for, you wouldn't oh, no apply ironings. heat onto them because it can warp them. <laughs> My so brain just saw the word iron. And what you'll see is next to it, there's a huge cross. <laughs> So it really does prove that you just see what you want to see, don't you? You hear what you want to hear, Bernie. That's the, that's the way life is. Uh, £52 as a Platinum member to get both of these. Uh, if you are shopping in the US as a Platinum member, £71.20. Uh, in essence, basically, you're only paying £5 for the folding cutting mat when you buy them together. And the cutting mat should be £29.99. Uh, you are actually, you're not paying anything extra at all. You're getting the cutting mat totally free of charge in the US. It's £29.95 uh, as well. Uh, so do uh, grab hold of those ones. Right, what do I need to let you know? Oh, that mystery fabric bundle, 60% of that has gone. Remember, you are gonna get six awesome half meters of fabric in here. It's a total uh, lucky dip. It will be completely at random, uh, but it will be six awesome quilting quality, uh, quilting quality cotton half meters or half yards, whatever you call them. You can multi-order 20 pounds or $25. Uh, platinum members, 16 pounds or $20 if you want to get hold of that one. Right, I've got some uh, other fabric collections for you on the show first. What one should we have a look at first? Should we do the meters or should we do the fat quarters first? Let's have a look at the fat quarters um, first. Oh, um, do you know what? I'm gonna, oh no, I'm gonna be able to get them back in. Let's pop these open and have a little look at these because they are absolutely uh, gorgeous. Now, what you've got here are your fat quarters. So I'll just take you through the designs that you've got. Really lovely bold colours in here. So you can see you've got that one there. You've got that gorgeous uh, background fabric there as well. Love that floral. And again, that beautiful background uh, that you can see just there. They are really, really awesome. So you've got those. You can get them in the fat quarter collection if you want, 11 99 or 14 95 You can actually get exactly the same patterns, but you can get them in half metres. So four half metres, 23 99 or 27 95 or you can go for uh, the fabric strip roll as well now on strip roll you get 20 two and a half inch wide pieces two and a half inch wide but how long bernie would they be on the strip roll so they're the width of the fabric so they'll be 110 centimeters which is anywhere between 42 and 44 inches awesome yeah. by two and a half inches and there's a lot of awesome um, projects out there that you can do isn't there using these uh, strips there is so many. Um, if you go online and search for fabric strips or jelly rolls, which is a, a brand name of when the, um, the company that makes them as well, if you search for projects, so jelly roll projects, fabric strip projects, you will have a choice galore. So you can make, what you're basically gonna do is you can sew them all together cut them back up and make a bargello quilt, which is one of my favourite oh, methods. Love a bargello quilt. I love them. I, I want to so make cute. another one. Didn't you do one. one in one of the So Inspired magazines that uh, I did, we had? Yes. Do you issue... remember what issue it was? 
Oh, I want to say a 17. Mm, it's on the front cover. Go back. It's on pop the front sewing, cover. Pop sewing, pop sewing, pop, uh, put so inspired in the search bar over on the website, and you'll see the Bargello quilt. If you can find it, if it's still in stock, a lot of them uh, were at really, really low clearance prices. So do see uh, if you can go back and find those. We're going to move on, uh, and we're going to have a look now at the patchwork die collection. Again, we are really knocking it out of the park with savings here on this collection. Remember, these are our multimedia dies, so what you're able to cut with these, of course you can cut uh, all of your different fabrics, but you can cut a whole host of different things, from craft metal, to cork, to balsa wood, to foam. Uh, so you've got lots that you can do with them, both in a soft craft sense, and also in some other uh, of your crafty disciplines. This one here is your jewel. You're also going to get the elongated hexagon, which I believe is what uh, Bernie's going to do a demonstration with for us. Uh, you've also got uh, this one here, which is your clamshell, and you've got this one here, which is your apple core. Now, a great price there, £70 or $76, which is less than half price. But if you're a Club Inspire Platinum member, of course, you'd be looking at £56 or $60.80, saving you £88 in the UK or $92 in the US. Really, really awesome value. Uh, and these, I love that you get the different sizes in them as well, Bernie. So giving you lots of different options here. You do, you get a really good range of sizes. I say, I'm going to demonstrate the elongated hexagon. These sizes in here are going from two and a half inches up to five and a half inches. This quilt I've got here was made with the five and a half inches and it really does not take very Love long that. at all. There we go, I'll lay it out there so you can see it. So you've got these really big pieces and it doesn't take very long at all. I had a really good fun yesterday afternoon stitching up a load of these where you see where you see i'm going to actually do a finished project today joe normally i'm normally with soft crafts it's sometimes difficult isn't it because it's there's a lot of technique but i'm actually going to make us a cushion for with the elongated hexagon so i'm going to get straight into it love that love it i absolutely love it and, and this might be a good one to use with your <coughs> mystery uh, half meter fabrics don't you think yeah, well, I'm, that's where I'm, I'm using these. These are these are the ones I got. These three are from the um, some days range. Say that Riley Blake, that Re Riley Blake fabric. So you've got and you they all go together. So the blue here is actually picking. This is the blue here, and then we've got that hot pink in there, and then you know we've got the beige that's on the little flower in there. So they all mix and match as well. Beautiful. And then there's bits of navy in there that go with the navy. Oh, they're lovely. Okay, see, uh, this is how excited I get over fabric, George. It doesn't take a lot when there's fabric about. It doesn't at all. So what I've done here is I've cut my strips. Now I use the fabric cutter and I cut some um, strips of fabric for me to cut quite a few. And then what I do is I've got the full strip here. Now, don't be afraid that your fabric's going to be too long for your Gemini because once it engages with the, the pressure points inside the Gemini, carry the plates through. Once it gets to the end of the plate, it knows, so it will release them, and then the rest of your fabric will just glide through. It won't get raveled up in your rollers. Because when I first used the Gemini and I did that, I was like, oh, I stopped it because I thought my fabric's too big, it's going to ravel up. It doesn't, it just comes straight out. So there we go. So I'm going to use the big one because I thought I want to do something quick, and sometimes you don't have a lot of time, so you, you do want to see what projects you can get done. So I'm just going to line that up on there. Now, you can tape it down if you need to. I'm going to be brave on this one. Oh, you're going rogue. I am, I'm going rogue. And then I say, well, watch this back. We've got this sort of tail end of fabric here, and we'll watch that will just glide straight through once it cuts. Uh, Karen says, is there any kind of instruction book with a cutter uh, to let us know how to cut the various shapes of fabric, Bernie? So, there isn't an instruction booklet as such, but I did do a video as well. Ah, okay. Show, yeah, yeah. So there is a video online to show you how to use it as well. So, I mean, you can go on. I mean, we've got, we've done so many um, tutorials. It's hard to remember how many that, yeah, that oh, I've done, so much. like personally myself. Um, but if you have a search on our YouTube channel, uh, or it could, um, sometimes you'll see it on the po uh, 
product page as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. So go over to the Softcraft area of our website, have a look for tutorials there. Definitely check us out, give us a, uh, no, it's not a follow on, I'm so, I'm so antiquated when it comes to YouTube. It's subscribe on YouTube, that was the one. Thank you, Laura. Uh, um, uh, yes, and also, you know, even if you haven't bought any products, go and have a look around our YouTube channel because um, it is really an awesome place to learn so many different things. Do you know what? The random facts have dried up a little bit, Laura. Uh, we need some more random facts. Laura, have you got a random fact you'd like to share with us? <laughs> this sounds jolly. During World War II, people were hired to chase pigeons off of buildings in order to create jobs. There you are. That's a good one. George, you got a random fact for us? Director George is in the hot seat today. We'll have to come back. He's got so many, he's going to pick out some of his best ones for us, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, uh, do, do come back to us. Um, Oh, mine are all Eurovision based, and you just you guys <laughs> don't need to. Once uh, Eurovision, I forget what year, it was back in the 70s, uh, resulted in a four-way tie, Bernie, where four countries all won Eurovision. There was only about 16 countries competing, uh, so they changed the way the voting system works, and now only one country can win. Oh, well, I didn't know I've, that. I mean, there are hundreds more where that came from, which I will spare you. I, I will. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some more random facts, like more... Um, sort of general one rather than about me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Enchanted Craft Fairy says, if someone was going to start with a quilt, Bernie, their first quilting project, what quilt shape, style or pattern would you recommend to be someone's first ever quilt? So a first ever quilt, I would probably say start off with squares. Okay. Because you're going to have, you're just going to be putting your four squares together and what that'll do is help you practice matching your points. So if we look at this one here, obviously I'm lining up these points here. Wherever your fabric's joining, you're always going to have some sort of angle. And when you start getting into um, this one, which is called a Y seam, but I'm going to show you the easy way how to do it, because I'm actually going to use the mitre tool. Um, that then you can, you, you'll progress onto that. So I would definitely say start off with squares. The other one is um, half square triangles. So okay. if you do have a Gemini, we've got our builder block system, which are absolutely fantastic. And the first one in the system, the original one, is does have squares in there, half square triangles and quarter square triangles. And they'll help you start to build up and you'll soon see, I mean, you get 23 patterns in the booklet with the pack, with the box. There's another, I think it's another eight, 72 or 80 online that we provide for you with full instructions on how to cut it. But then you can, if you look online, a lot of it is your colour placement. So if you have, if you're just stitching squares together, it doesn't matter what colours you use. Every time you use, and if you've got the fabric bundle as well, the mystery bundle, you know, you could have a really scrappy one of all different colours as well, and then put a border on in a, in a plain colour that'll make all of those colours pop. So I would definitely say squares for your first one, but then you'll soon progress, um, and then half square triangles probably, and then you'll start working with strips and, and the bar yellow quilt, which you think that, when you look at one, you think that looks really complicated. And honestly, it, once you start doing it, you'll realise, well, actually, it's not as scary as I, as I first thought. So. So, yeah, I would go with squares. Awesome. Top advice there. Thanks for that, Bernie. Sonia's random fact uh, is about her grandma. Sonia's grandma, uh, as soon as you lose, y'all, Sonia's grandma, was friends with Dolly Parton and worked with her before she became famous. Oh. I mean, that trumps all the others that I've got uh, at the moment here. I mean, I feel like that's a... What is it? How many degrees of separation is it from, you know, from anyone? Six degrees of separation. Well, that's less than six, isn't it? That's me to Sonia, Sonia to her grandma, and her grandma to Dolly Parton. I am three degrees of separation away from Dolly Parton. <laughs> We're practically mates. I might put that on my Instagram bio. Um, <laughs> uh, and Charlie Crafty, uh, Craft Fairy wanted to know how many layers of quilting fabric can be die cut in the Gemini at once? So we recommend up to six layers of quilting cotton. Um, you may be able to cut a little bit more. Um, it obviously depends on the quality of the fabric that you're using, but we always recommend up to six. And awesome. that's what we tend to do. I've um, seen a lot more than that uh, done. Yeah, I mean, I'll eight to ten layers at the same time. But yeah, yeah. definitely well, six. Comfortably six, yeah, yeah. 
Right, so what I've done here, I've laid these out. I'm just going to do a, a little bit of um, guidance on here, a little bit of stitching. And then I've got a load, like I say, I sat quite happily yesterday afternoon stitching loads together. Um, so what I've got here is, basically with this, you want to join it in rows. Okay, so I'm thinking, right, well, I need to join this. But what you want to do is to be able to join this seam on later, you want to have a little bit of leeway here. So what you're going to do is when you stitch down, you're going to stop a quarter of an inch away on each one. And then that'll help when you're sewing these together, it helps you turn those corners and your seams will be a lot flatter as well. So because we know we need to stop at that point, I would say, right, well, if I put my two pieces together and it's this is this is where I'm going to I'm going to stop and start here and here but I need to find out where that quarter inch is so this is where the mitre tool comes in so if we look around and see right well because this is if we look it's elongated but it's still a hexagon so I'm going back to that 120 angle that I did before and if I couldn't remember I just put it on till it fits you know like you're putting that children's toy where you put the square peg through the round hole and you do it till it fits yeah so i've done that till i've got to the right angle and then what i'm doing is so this line here is a quarter of an inch away so if i put a little mark in there and then i go to the other corner and do exactly the same and i'll make them a bit more pronounced just so you can pick them up on the camera what are the Rosalind wants to know, what are the different layers of a quilt square, uh, including all the filling uh, burning? Great questions coming in today. It is. I love, I love all the questions. So with a, a quilt sandwich, I think... Um, That's the one, yeah. what you're referring to there. So what you've got is, so when you've got a um, quilt like this, you'll have your top fabric, and this is normally your patchwork one, the one that you've done all the pretty designs on and the stitching and everything. So that's your top one. And then you'll have a back and fabric. And then in between the sandwich, so these are your bread. We're on bread again, Joe. We're talking about bread again. <laughs> these are your sandwich. And then your filling is your wadding or your batting. So we call it wadding in the UK and the US call um, it batting. But it's the same thing. There's lots of different ones that you can use. I like to use our 80-20, which is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It doesn't shrink as much. 100% um, cotton tends to shrink more, but it depends what sort of look you want. Once you've washed it and it goes really um, wrinkly, like an antique quilt, you can use 100% cotton for it and it goes really wrinkly. Um, but that's your filling. So yeah, and then you're going to stitch all them together and, and bind it. So I've marked my quarter inch here, so I know I need to stop and start at those points. So I'm just going to take that to the machine. Now I generally don't pin, I just go straight in with it, but that's because I'm used to, I am used to doing it. Now when you're doing starting and stopping at a certain distance, I would um, either secure your stitch if you've got a fixed stitch on your machine, or when you get to the end, just do a, a couple of reverse stitches. There we go. And then what that is done is it gives you, we can see we've got that little bit of leeway there. It doesn't stitch right to the end. So you're going to join all of those up like that. And then you're going to do exactly the same with this one. Mark your quarter inch points and you're going to stitch along to that point. And then you can either take it out or you can leave your needle in and just twist your fabric round and just ruffle your fabric round under your needle till you get it back in place and then you'll stitch along again and you keep going to sew your rows together. So I'll get the ones out that I was, yeah, I did, I got carried away yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm enjoying this because I haven't done much sewing over Christmas. I've been just really being lazy and having a break. <laughs> being lazy? <laughs> I am, I am. So look at this. I got very carried away and stitch loads together. Awesome, I think it looks it look absolutely so gorgeous. Now, I, I want to make this into a cushion. So <clears throat> I'm going to use our fabric cutter again. So I'm just going to pop the machine there and I'm just going to turn the mat. There we go. Now, I want to make us, um, now how much, I've made me back in already. Let me just check, I can't remember if I did it, 15 or 15 and a half. So let me just measure that. 
And I made it, you can see the back and look, I made it with um, the strips of fabric I had left. I just made it so you don't waste any fabric. So your back, if you're doing a cushion, who says the back has to be plain? You know, you can have it where it's, um, it's got a pattern on. So I'm just going to fold this up so it fits under the cutter. There we go. And then I'm going to get that straight edge. So whenever you're starting any fabric cutting, really, you want to start with a straight edge. So let's even this out. So there we go. So I've lined it up with the fold on the fabric there. And I'm just going to go up there and cut those over. So now I want to cut this at 15. So I can go along to the 15 on my grid, line that up there, and then come up this way. There we go. So I know now that's 15 inches wide. So I just need to then go the other way and make it 15 the other way as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to repeat what I've just done. Rosalind's saying she wants to try photo quilt. What's that, Bernie? Photo quilting? Yeah. Oh, no, I've not heard that phrase, but I'm wondering, Joe, if that is where you can... Um, one of my sewing ladies that comes to my classes, she did this. She printed photographs off. You know, you can buy that paper that you can print... Oh, print like a trans heat transfer paper? Yeah, and oh. then she put those in a quilt. So she made them the same size squares as what she needs, um, what her other squares are. So basically, it's, you'd sew squares together. So that's a great one, actually, for a, like a memory quilt. would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Mm, absolutely awesome. Perfect yeah, for so that. Yeah, you print them off, and then, I mean, you'd need um, the proper paper, and I don't know, I don't have one, so I don't know what sort of printer you, you need to have. But that would, you know, that would make a lovely, a lovely quilt. It would make a lovely design, that. There we go. So I've now Beautiful. got my design there. I'm going to turn my mat back around now because I finished using my cutter. I always make a mess, Jo. I've been really sort of tidy. I've made an absolute mess over here Have today. There is... Oh, I don't... Well, there's so many great things today. on this show, but there is stuff absolutely everywhere. I won't lie. So, uh, yeah, there is loads of stuff on the show. Make sure you check the website to see all the items that are available because we just won't have time to show you them uh, in the show. And you can do that by clicking the Shop the Show button on the home screen of our website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. It's also uh, pinned in the comments too. Right, so now I've put my back on and I'm now going to get my quilting clips. So these are great for keeping your fabric together while you're stitching and if you do doing one with a zip in like i've put a zip in here you just need to make sure that your zips open i have a top tip i love my top tip i always have a top tip i think if i didn't have any top tips i'd get into trouble off everyone <laughs> so i've opened my zip if you open your zip what you can do here is put do a few rows of stitches here to keep your zip together because if it all once you open it it can it can move so Pop a few little stitches there. Or I have seen um, people use a stapler before and stapler. But my only concern there is, is when you're sewing, you may hit the staple with your needle. Yes. So the clips, I think, are much safer. And we've got those clips on the show for you as well. Remember we today, have, they are in stock them. at the moment, which is very, very rare. Uh, so do grab them. They are in their 10 packs. Lots of you multi-ordering on them, 4 99 or 6 95 uh, for a pack of 10 of those, uh, but they really are worth their weight in gold. Uh, loads of people I uh, talk about just never having uh, enough of them. So great time to get yourself stocked up. Katie says, uh, are learning so much today. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, should I say as well, Bernie, uh, your rationality in explaining things about sewing is the best bar none. So thank you. How awesome is that? Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Oh, I'm just happily sewing away around me outside here, Joe, while you're reading the comments. Awesome. I love, I love it as I love it when people do comment in, um, and I love to go like afterwards, like tonight. I've got a class tonight, five o'clock. I've got a long day today. Um, <laughs> Zoom, Zoom class tonight, and then later on tonight, I, I love to sit down and read through all the comments, and then you know reply reply so if I missed any questions and I haven't if we haven't had a chance to do your question 
I will, I will answer it tonight as well. So we we'll just awesome. give it back, aren't we, Joe? We can always get hold of our Bernie, which is lovely. And it's, oh, lovely, it's lovely to have so many of you that uh, have been paper crafters and are now soft crafting, which is fantastic. It's nice to have uh, those of you that were soft crafters and are now paper crafters, like the lovely uh, Sonia who watches these shows. And I think, do you know, maybe for a lot of people starting to sew or doing some soft crafting, whether it's, you know, curtains or um, quilting or applique or alterations or any of those different things, dressmaking, if it is a New Year's resolution, I think then this is a great place to come because the softer side is where you're going to get all of those hints, tips and tricks. But also, our website and our YouTube channels are an excellent source of information and education for a whole host of different soft crafting uh, and needle craft uh, disciplines. So make sure you go and check all of those out as well. Make sure you give Bernie uh, a follow on Facebook. Where can we find you on Facebook, Bernie, actually? Yeah, so I'm Bernie Corner Crafter's Companion. Awesome. So, so yeah. make sure you go and give uh, Bernie a follow. And if you haven't yet, make sure you've liked our Facebook page as well, Crafters TV. Uh, give us a like there to stay up to date with all the goings on. Uh, there's loads of uh, great gossip normally as well happening over there, behind the scenes stuff, caption competitions. Uh, so do go give us a like. But yeah, there is there's so much. And I, I know you were talking about um, the blog earlier as well, Joe. There's actually free patterns on there as well. So there's, it's, there's tutorials on our products, but also free patterns. So, you know, if you're just having a, a browse, it might just give you a little bit of inspiration. Mm. So what I've done is I've just, I've gone round there. Now what you can do is zigzag round that end, or if you've got um, our lock pro, if you've got an overlocker, you could overlock them as well. So all I do is I put my thumb in the corner first, and then bring it through and that just n makes it nearly as pointy as it can be and I'm just turning that through and then I've actually made a full project <laughs> there we go and I, I did forget to bring a cushion pad through from the other um, studio but I will uh, I will pop a cushion pad in it and awesome. there look at that that's really bad, isn't it? Really, really awesome. Uh, and a great way, of course, if you are going for uh, the Mystery Fabric Bundle, still very, very busy on the Mystery Fun Fabric Bundle. Uh, we do have, still have some available. I'll take you back through it uh, in it. Should we, have a back, should we go back through it and have a look? I mean, because it is awesome value. Do you know the reason, uh, the reason these come around, two thirds of the stock has gone now, is because basically, unlike a lot of companies, it's quite rare, isn't it, Bernie, where companies cut fabric by the metre or a half metre now by hand, but we do, don't we, over in our warehouse? We do, yes, and you, you know you're going to get, um, say, if you, if you order off the bolt and you're ordering two and a half metres, you will get that as a continuous piece as well. Awesome. So it is all cut. There is a big cutting table over there, and every single order is, is cut to hand. Perfect. So you are going to get it all all lovely and cut and, and folded nice as well yes sometimes you can go on oh, it i've bought fabric before and it's coming it's all just chucked together obviously not from us but when i've ordered from us everything's all neatly folded so you can take it out your box because you'll have probably ordered other stuff as well <laughs> <laughs> and it can go straight in your your cupboard or your boxes however you store your fabric at home one top tip about storing fabric is don't have it in direct sunlight so if you do have shelving, have maybe a cover or something over because sunlight can fade your fabric. Mm, so absolutely. if you've ever had curtains and they've been up a while and you, and you, you can see that they faded a little bit, that's the sun. So yeah, so you, you, look after, you need to look after your fabric. Awesome, make sure you do that. I want to run you back through. So, but because we do cut it by hand by the half metres, what it means is that we do end up with some end of lines. It means that we end up with some offcuts. And what we then do is we create these awesome mystery bags for you. So it means that you're getting this for less than half price. 20 pounds in the UK, $25 in the US, that becomes 16 pounds or 20 $20 as a platinum member which is fantastic and it means that you're getting great value now the great thing is it's fabric you can never order too much it's a random selection as well so feel free to multi-order as many of you are it could be literally anything that you've seen here at crafters TV or uh, across the crafters companion website the great thing is about it though is that we only stock a hundred percent uh, cotton we only stock quilting quality cotton as well so you're always going to get something that's of the most utmost uh, quality I love this this is from that be happy fabric range 
And then we've also got the mint one here from that as well. I thought that was done and we'd retired the Be Happy, so I'm glad to see it in a mystery bag. So maybe you could get uh, one of the last remaining pieces of it. And you've got some planes. We will try and give you some, uh, some florals, some patterns, some planes. You know, we try and make them a good sort of mixture of different styles of fabrics. But definitely grab that. Over two thirds now of the stock there has gone. Uh, it's great to have those back in. We're always uh, getting them in. They're always selling out. Um, we're always begging to go and get more of them on the show. So it's really lovely that we've got them there. Now, the patchwork dies that you've just seen, uh, beautifully demonstrated by Bernie, uh, they are available, some of these, individually. So I'm going to take you through all the individual options that we have. We've got great pricing for you as well. Discounts across all of them. You've got 25% off of all of the individuals, which is great. So this one here, that's the equilateral triangle that you've got. You've then also got uh, the 60 degree diamond. They're a girl's best friend, apparently, you know, Bernie. Uh, you've then also got the half hexagon as well, which is that one just there. Uh, and then you've got the individuals of the ones that uh, we were just sharing with you as part of the bundle. So the jewel, that one's available on its own individually. I'll just give you the details for that. There we are. Uh, you could also go for, as well, if you wanted to, the uh, elongated hexagon, which is that one there. You've got the clamshell, or you can go for the apple core it's completely up to you however remember the best way here at crafters tv to get the best value is always to go for uh, the bundle so what you can get is in the bundle i'll just i'll take you back through uh, what you've got in there so as a collection as a bundle you can get these ones so you can get the jewel in a bundle with the elongated hexagon the clamshell and also that apple core there as well. Now, the great thing about that is when you get them like that, you actually save over 50%. So uh, you, it should be 144.96. Uh, today, as you can see, uh, you're saving £75. However, you can get it for £56 today if you're a Platinum member. That's a saving of £88.96. $60.80 as a Platinum member in the US, saving you over $90 super super value for money uh, you've been sending in pictures which always pleases me because we really love to see the things that you've been up to and see the things that you have been making uh, this is from katie here katie henderson that's gorgeous isn't it bernie wow that looks to me is it possibly a gemini cover oh it, it is a gemini, like a gemini cover, cover. That's well fantastic. spotted absolutely brilliant and i love that blue and yellow combination as well sometimes you look at fabric and think oh that's not going to go together once you put them together like there they look absolutely fantastic they really complement each other so well done katie yeah i'm very envious of that really <laughs> love that wendy's biggest project yet look at Woo! the size of that that's a whopper isn't it that is brilliant and is that a matching cushion the matching pillow as well that would be a perfect... That's absolutely amazing. So that's an excellent example. So the lady who was asking about the quilts, that's a fantastic example of using squares. Look how amazing that looks, the impact. You yeah. know, and it's just it's, it using a lots and lots of different fabrics, but once you put them all together, they just really go. So brilliant, Wendy. I absolutely love that. Awesome, really, really fantastic. Keep sharing your pictures with us. Uh, either send them into us here at the studio, uh, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, you can also, if you use Instagram uh, and you upload your uh, makes to Instagram and you do Instagram stories, if you're really down with the kids, uh, you can tag us uh, at Crafters Comp TV, uh, at Crafters Companion UK, at Crafters Companion US as well. Uh, so tag us because we will like then, we'd love to then to be able to share your makes on our stories which is fantastic, isn't it? I need to remind you of, do you know what? I'm going to ask um, Bernie to show us this because I know Bernie's tool tidy is absolutely chock-a-block full over there where my tool tidy is bare, Bernie. Oh, it look, yours looks a little bit bare, doesn't it? Looks a bit but, sad, doesn't it, yeah. all empty? So that's, that's a before and then this is a after and this still isn't even full. I'm not going to empty all of it out, but I've got, in there, I've got my binding tool. I've got my five heat erasable pens. I told you I had a lot of them. I've got two pairs of scissors. I've got three pokey tools. I've got a big fat crochet hook. I've got my glue stick. I've got my dye brush. I've got another pokey little pokey tool there as well. And I've still got lots of space. What it is, it's silicon. So once you put your item in there, whatever you're putting in, you can see how they're moving. But it's, oh, that's my, oh, and my rotary cutter was in as well. And um, once you leave, the, it springs back into place. So it will stay in, and that's why it stays upright. So 
these are ideal for on your um, sewing table or even your paper crafting yeah, with absolutely. all your paper craft tools in. Even the desk, even in the kitchen, you know, anywhere where you want to put um, lots of items together. I mean, if you have all of those and they're just sort of in a, in a drawer and you're scrambling through trying to find it, Whereas you've got this next to you and you go, right, well, I know I need my embroideries. This is there they are. So I'm just going to get them straight out. I need, I need the red pen. There we go. Awesome. So, right, so you know, you, you can just reach for them and they're always there and they look tidy. Yeah, so they make absolutely. You, hence the name, make uh, it tool tidy. And also, <laughs> yeah, and also you're going to be able to find everything really quickly. Uh, as Bernie was saying, great for paper craft as well, whether it's pokey tools, uh, your different pens, uh, your um, craft knives that you want to store in here. There's loads of stuff you can use it for. It's a fantastic desk tidy uh, for pens and scissors and a whole host of things. $9.99 to grab hold of one of those. And it reminds me of, do you know what it reminds me of? You know the things that... Dates used to come in at Christmas, those, uh, the oh, packets. Do you remember yes. the, I always remember my uh, grandma and granddad had those big packs of dates that used the big medjool ones. I don't know why yes. it reminds me of that. I don't know why I felt the need to share that with you, to be honest. <laughs> it is that um, shape, though, isn't it? <laughs> it does, though. It does remind us of that, doesn't it? We've also, we're going to have a look now at the bag dies uh, that we've got on the show. Uh, so let's have a look, firstly, at the reversible pocket tote bag, which is this one just here. Absolutely love this. I think it's a really lovely shape. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a pair of dungarees. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Does, you know the shape on the front? Do you see what I mean by that? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Does. it? I love a dungaree. I'm telling you, there's two things I'm not built for, Bernie. <laughs> it's rompers and dungarees. You'll never see me wearing them. I look like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> uh, but this <laughs> is a really, really gorgeous bag. $23.99 or $31.96 if you want to go for those. Uh, you've got those uh, pockets in here as well. Nice big pocket. Do you know what? This would make a lovely uh, one. This would be a lovely peg bag, I think. You know, to have um, on the oh, line yes. with all your pegs and stuff in there clipped on the sides really beautiful for that uh, the next one we've got for you is the shopper bag not any old shopper savvy shopper that's you guys that is uh, and this one's fantastic because you've got uh, the nice long straps on there as well so you can pop that over your shoulders you don't have to pop the straps in of course you can have it with or without the straps it's completely up to you uh, and it's a really again a really nice uh, big size um, because sometimes, you know, if you're popping out to the shops, Bernie, to do a few groceries, you don't want to take a big bag with you or a big tote, but you just need a little bag, you know, just to pop a few bits in. I think that would be absolutely perfect for that. You know, if you just pop yourself out, you've gone out and you've treated yourself to a lipstick and a compact disc. Yes. You know, you just pop it you in there. You don't want a big bulky perfect. bag. And to plus as well, because you can put this um, however long handle you want, you could actually have this as a shoulder or a wrist bag or even a crossbody as well because you can make them as long as you want because you're you know you can customize it as well so yeah that's great and if you get super clever you could actually insert a zip in there we're, we're not doing that today but <laughs> <laughs> but you could you could yeah. put a zip in there as well so Absolutely. you can with any of these we're giving you that we're giving you sort of the starting point and then you can make them even more you can add you can add to them as well but i love these because they're all reversible as well Mm, absolutely brilliant this one goes my outfit it's like i knew isn't it it's like that, i'm uh, yeah, i've sort of custom myself i mean if i was doing matchy matchy this would work perfectly today uh, it is beautiful this one we've got for you as well is the vintage clutch now this i mean a clutch bag i guess traditionally doesn't have a handle on it but you don't need to put the handle on that's the great thing about doing it yourself clutch bags clutch bags don't traditionally have handles on uh, um uh straps on do they you'd normally just would be a clutch no, so the great but the great thing is yeah as you said you can take it you can leave it on or you could take it off it could just be a clutch we've got all of the different um accessories that you need the d-rings and things on the show today as well go and check those out uh, by clicking the shop the show button on the home page of the website and you'll see absolutely all the accessories that you need to go with it 19.99 or 31.96 uh, if you want to go for those as well. They are all there and available individually. Uh, lots of you talking, uh, having a good old chatter. Beth says, uh, a little known fact about her, she loves to do cross-stitch. She's going to try and take a couple of the Christmas ornaments I'm stitching and incorporate them into cards. Sounds wonderful. Ooh, what a good um, idea. Any tips for this? Patty says, I always have issues getting matching colours. There always seems to be one colour that doesn't look good when done. So you know? what you could do, if you're um, making, so say go back to Wendy's quilt where it was all the different colours of squares 
and if you weren't sure of whether they were going to go, what you could do is put sashing in. So that's where you put strips of fabric in between each block and that sashing is going to be one colour and that's going to then pull all your other colours together. So if you've got a colour that you're not quite keen on, but even if it does go with the fabric you've got but you're just not keen, once you do it like that and you give it that sort of frame, if you like, that'll pull them all together as well. So, but also as well, put a few pieces together of your fabric. So say we've got a few different ones all together like this. Take a photograph and then look at the photograph. Because sometimes looking at the photograph actually helps you view it better. It sounds really strange, but it, try it because it really it does work. It, well, it works for me. And I, I, do, um, I do pass that information on to when I'm doing my classes as well to actually, you know, look at what will match. So yeah, try that and see if that works for you. And if not, just take that fabric out that you don't like and put another one in and keep that one for another project because it'll go with something else. Mm. Especially if you get in the mystery bag, you but you know, you get not, you're gonna have all sorts of juice from in there. Absolutely. I love there's some left. I, well, I, I want to order one when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You should have heard all, should have ordered early. Um, right, what bag are we gonna be having a look at then, Bernie? Because I know um, it's hard to narrow it down and choose, isn't it? I know it is. I'm actually going to do the Savvy Shopper. So I'm going to, I'm going to do um, part of this one. Because I do like the clutch bag, but I did make a clutch bag last week. So I thought I'll make sure that we do something different for everyone every week. Because you don't want to see this, a similar thing two weeks running. So I'm just going to pop those out the way there. So yeah, so this is the one I'm going to actually show you. To make this one. But I'm actually going to use our Enchanted Forest Fabric. Awesome. Which is absolutely amazing. So let me get my plates up ready. There we go. Right, where have I put my pattern? I've lost my pattern, Joe. There we have them. I've found it. Here we go. So with these in here, I see you're getting the dies. You're also getting um, the instructions. And there are full videos, again, online. Um, we, I'm looking on for We the really do pack. nail it, I think, when it comes to the video tutorials for our soft crafting products because, um, you know, it really is fantastic for, uh, you know, because you do really need to sort of see what's happening for a lot of these projects, don't you? So it's great that you've got those on there as well. Great colour tips from Bernie. Anne says as well that tool tidy fits beautifully in the Totally Tiffany desk storage if you've got that as well. So that's a top tip. Uh, totally Tiffany items coming up uh, a little bit later in the uh, day today. She's gonna be joining us actually in the launch party with myself and Sarah. Oh, that, that's at four o'clock, isn't it? So I'll get home for then. I'll get home for then. Right, so I'm using, this is the mini um, blossoms. I'm using the fat quarters here, Joe. I've cut up some of my fat quarters. You can see how I'm being really skimpy with my fabric because I don't want to, I want to get the most as I can. As oh, I can absolutely. You've got to be as frugal as you can, especially yeah. when, it's as, when the, when the, uh, the fabric's as gorgeous quality as it is here at Crafters Companion. Um, someone did ask, actually, a great question came in a moment ago from... Who was it from? Rosalind says, does it always have to be cotton that you use for quilts? Um, it doesn't, but cotton is one of the easiest ones to sew with. So if you are a beginner, what I would say is to start off with cotton. Or use all bedding, but make sure it's 100% um, cotton and not poly cotton because polycotton can stretch and go a bit skew with. So cotton is, is the best thing to practice on. So, right, so I've got my handle on there, Joe. If about, this is cut on the fold. So I've got my handle there. I've still got quite a lot of space here on my plate, so I'm gonna put some more things on. On the front of the bag, I don't know if, I didn't point it out before. Well, can we see we've got this scallop decorative edge Oh, so awesome. we actually give you the die to do that. Now, you don't have to put that on if you don't want to put it on, but we give you the die to, to do it. Um, now, what it does, it tells you in the instructions on how to do your fabric, and what you're going to do is, we call it concertina your fabric. So you're going to fold it back on itself, and then I'm going to lay that down. And again, you've got diagrams in there. If we look at the die, we can see on the die here, there's no cutting edge there because that's going to be the full length of your piece. You've got a cutting edge, top and bottom. So we know that the foldy bits need to be on those sides. So I'm going to pop that, get it the right way, 
on there as well. So I can cut them at the same time. And then I've still got room, Joe. So I'm going to cut my little, um, the little, I don't know what they're called, like the tabs to put my little D-rings on that fit on the outside of the bag. So if I grab them as well. Awesome. And this I is remember where these all, of those, uh, all of those extra bits that you need, the D-rings and stuff, are all available on the website. There's loads of uh, things over there from quilt and clips to uh, adhesives, absolutely everything you'll need. Also, you know, it's really nice if you uh, haven't seen us off the side of live shows before, maybe go and have a look at the whole soft crafting area of our website, which is absolutely huge and has everything that you would need, uh, you know, from machines right the way through to fabrics and a whole host of gorgeous things for all of your soft crafting needs. So do, after the show, definitely go and have a look at that portion of the website. There is. So I often will just go and sit and have a look through and just look through and see what's on. I'll have a look at the fabric and see what fabric's in stock. And then I get excited when there's some new fabric coming that I didn't know about because we don't, you know, we, we find out the same time as you guys. Sometimes if something comes back in stock, um, if we don't have it on a show, we will only know when it's on the website. So that's very exciting. I did get very excited the other week when the um, John Loudon fabric came back on. And then over Christmas, it went like that. <laughs> and I think last week we had, like, I think at the start of the show, did we have three left by the start of the show? Because it had just gone like wildfire Oh, Christmas. it was absolutely bonkers busy, wasn't it, for those? It fabric was. is the one thing I think we struggle to keep in uh, stock a lot of the time. How are we doing on that mystery fabric bundle, actually? Because I know it's getting busier and busier that uh, over two thirds of the stock has now sold out and gone on that if you want it. If you're watching the show back at a later date, then what I'd say is definitely check the stock uh, situation over on the website because all of the deals that we bring you uh, usually last for around 48 hours or until stocks last uh, once you've seen them here on Crafters TV so uh, yeah if you're watching this back at a later date just check to see if we have any in stock over on the website so I've got my little tabs cut I'm trying to remember to put me my dies back on on there and I've got a tiny just a little thread there that's just where I place the die not quite even and then if I open this out this is that concertina uh, the scallop edge I mean you can see that's just cut beautifully what you're going to do is cut two of those and stitch them together but I've just cut one there just so you can see it so that's the scallop so I'll pop that one there out of the way and then I've also got the handle and again because I haven't lined it up fully to the end you've just got them little bits to snip you will do it more carefully than me at home and line it up properly there we go so i've got all them scraps and then i've got my handles there now i've cut two red but i meant to cut a cream as well but never mind that's fine i've got some uh, cut up and then we found we've got two dies left now if we look at the bag it's actually made up of strips so because you've got a lot of these strips to make and the same die cuts your handle strap and it cuts your binding. Because you've got a lot of these to cut, we've given you two dies. So you can cut them twice as quick. So we thought, well, you know, we can, we can fit another one on there, so we'll give you two. So I've got my fabric here. Now I've folded my fabric. It tells you the, the bag that we make here is nine inches. The strips are nine inches long. So we tell you that in the instructions to cut it nine inches long. However, you could make them longer. And you're going to concertina it over again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two of these at the same time. Uh, will these guys fit through the junior, asked Teresa. Oh, let me measure this big one. And I think it's going to be a yes. Let me look. So that measures. Yes, 100% awesome. will fit through the junior. This one will. Yeah. Brilliant. That's and good. I can, I'll just get a junior plate, actually. Uh, Patty saying as I'll save the show to watch back later remember you can do that very easily on Facebook by sharing it or saving it you can bookmark it on YouTube if you want to as well Marianne says I'm waiting on a delivery of Sarah's sewing basket and the sew homemade Gemini dust cover pattern I found a Michael Miller fabric for my Gemini dust cover with purple and blue roses on it sounds gorgeous oh, oh there you go fits no problem at all yeah fits no problem at all so you, you're absolutely fine on your doing yeah right so I'm going to cut these two And then again, I'm just going to do two. Now I 
could have folded that fabric over again but i won't just to show you how you cut it and then you're going to cut so on the one i'm doing i'm doing the two fabric so but you can actually do oh you could do a rainbow one joe how fabulous would that be do a strip, yeah that'd be do awesome strips in different colors of the rainbow yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, seeing loads of rainbow stuff uh, around at the moment. Patty saying uh, how awesome all the tips have been today. I have to agree, they have been absolutely fantastic. Loads of top tips there. I think we've all learned lots today, Bernie, which is always awesome. I do, I love, I love a tip. I do, I love a tip. I'm a, sometimes, I, 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 well, most of the time, I don't plan ahead with my tips. It's usually, as I'm working away, um, they'll come to me. And I always think that sharing is really, really good because there's no point hold. I think that's why I love this job as well, because I love sharing all of my tips with everyone. Um, and it just helps people improve as well, doesn't it? Absolutely, it does indeed. So yeah. I've cut all of those strips. I've got loads of them there, absolutely loads of them. But I'm just going to move them aside because I've got my separate ones already cut of the different colours that I'm going to use. So been busy again look joe busy busy this you've been very busy i have i've been ultra busy so what you're going to do is decide on what you're going to what strips you're going to do so my outside one i'll say right well i'm going to have the forest floral and the mini do you know what we need to do bernie we've completely forgotten about oh what have we what have we forgot we need to we the demo of the show we, we, haven't, to... we haven't thought about the demo of the show. <gasps> oh, Ooh, so what are the oh. options? Let's quickly recap. What have so, we done in the show today? Well, we've done lots of bits, we did haven't the Hawaii, we? Yeah, we did the Hawaiian tie. What about if I find... I think it'll be between the cushion yeah. and this bag. Yeah. Is the bag going to find... be finished, though? <laughs> well, we'll see. What time is it? Ooh, <laughs> let's finish the bag. Right. <laughs> so, so you've got to vote between the cushion and the bag you're gonna have to use you're gonna have to use your imagination for now in the voting and yeah. maybe think about whether you might like the bag more than the cushion when the bag is actually <laughs> done so what you're going to do i'm going to i'm going to talk you through a lot of this what i've actually done because i have made up most of the bag so we've got quite a lot of it done so you're going to decide um how many uh, which color order you want your strips in i think there's it's 10 or 11 does tell you in the instructions um so you're going to sew them all together you can actually put wadding on as well or interfacing whichever type you want to use you're going to sew them all together and at the, at the same time as well this is where you're going to have two of these cut and you're going to sew them right sides together all the way around the curve leaving the top edge raw to clip it and turn it through and then you get that lovely scalloped edge to put on later so you're going to make one of these for the front you're going to make one for the back you're going to make another one for the lining uh, another two sorry that'll fit your lining now if you didn't want to do a stripy lining i'm saying lining it's reversible so it'll be your other side of your bag we actually give you the measurements in the instructions of what size this will be as one piece so if you don't want to do all the strips and you just want one full piece we give you those measurements of what it needs to be so don't worry if you you know if you think oh, i don't really want to sew all the strips together um but we do give you those uh, similarly if you get the um fabric strip roll what you can do there is actually um sew them together you won't need as many and just make sure you've got the overall size or you could do scrappy you could sew all your scraps together as well and do it that way absolutely fab so I'm going to show you how that handle works because this is one of the things that some people might look at this pattern and say, oh, well, that, that looks a bit strange. I don't know how, how it does that. So what you're going to do is put your fabrics um, right sides together and you're going to have an outside piece and a lining piece. And then what you're going to do with a very short stitch length, you're going to stitch all the way around there. So I'm just going to quickly stitch around there. And I'm just going to, I'm putting my, st my stitch length on two. And I'm going to go about, about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. Just do the same on both pair. So we're going to... just hearing about Craig's lining his guests up for his uh, wake up call Craig. Wake up call Craig with show tomorrow. That's oh, not what it is. Oh, you see, what's it going? Can you tell? It's day six, Bernie. Uh, 
<laughs> I feel like the wheels are starting to come off a little bit. Uh, <laughs> wake up call with Craig is going to have a very, very special guest on it tomorrow. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Maybe I'll tell you uh, in the Craft Fault show later. Maybe I'll let Cra we'll let Craig tell you uh, in the show later about his oh. special guest tomorrow. I hope he's got snacks in, is all I'll say. So, uh, well, he yes. had two special guests today, didn't he? He did, Joe? didn't he? Who me did he have you. today? He had you and me. Exactly. What more does he want? Are we coming I mean, back doesn't tomorrow get, then? Doesn't get much special, more special than that, does it? <laughs> right. So I've sewn all the way around there. And then what I'm going to do is get my little scissors and I'm just going to clip. Now, what you can do is you can clip into this or you can trim it. Now, on an outside curve, I like to trim. On an inside curve, I like to clip. I don't know why but I just find that it lies better for me when I turn it through. So I'm just going to quickly clip this. Awesome. Uh, Vicky's saying how much she loved the cushion. Makes me want to try sewing as well as paper crafting. Lots of you, I know, uh, are paper crafters that, that have then started sewing. Uh, loads of you uh, have let us know that it's you've really sort of been captivated by these softer side shows. Uh, so it's definitely awesome that we can teach you new things and share new things with you. And going forward, that's absolutely uh, the aim to introduce even more crafts to you, uh, which will be really, really exciting. Uh, is it Fake Friday, Joe? And it is Fake Friday. You are in a, a deed, correct? It's, it's Fake Friday. It's also this shift's Fake Friday as well. What's so Laura and George. Fake Friday, yeah. What, what's it's the Friday? end of my week today. It's my Friday today. Oh, my weekend, you. I've got three days off after today. The guys have got a couple of days off as well. It's also a mashup between Fake Friday and Treat Yourself Tuesday. So, I mean, it, it doesn't come around very often, but it's, a, it's a great combination. So, can you see what I'm doing here, Joe? I'm t I've put that through the hall. And what a mess it looks. It looks like you've done it wrong, doesn't it? I'm going to whip my iron out. Oh. So I've got my ironing board because you don't iron on the mat, as you know, Joe. As I do now. <laughs> I was saying you could earlier, yeah. And then what you're going to do is. You wouldn't want to do your bed. You wouldn't want to do your king size bed sheets with that iron, would you? No, but I must. I did admit last week to Ben that I did have this iron out once, and I needed a top ironing. And rather than get me big iron out, you did it I with ironed that? it with the. Oh. <laughs> I was on ages. It would have took us less time to get me big iron out. <laughs> I had to get my big iron out this morning. I don't get my big iron out very often. Um, I use my... I've got one of those big steam generator ones. But I bought a new top and it was really, really wrinkly. Oh, no. Um, and then I didn't... It wasn't this one. This one ironed lovely. And then I didn't end up wearing the other one. I stood and ironed it this morning. I was like, oh. oh do you know what? There's nothing worse when you buy clothes and they're worse. lovely. And then you wash them and you dry them and they're a nightmare to iron. I've got one of those... Um, Fancy, you know, the big steam generator ones. The yes, that's what I've ones. got. Oh, they're so good. And do you know what? It's transformed the way I feel about ironing. I <laughs> absolutely love ironing. Don't forget about uh, picking the winner uh, of the demo of the show. Is it going to be this bag or is it going to be that cushion you saw earlier? Let us know in the comments over on Facebook or on YouTube. You've got three minutes left to cast your vote. Oh, I was going to say three. Oh, well, we'll have what to... What would you I'll be voting? What was your favourite demo, Bernie? Mine was the cushion, actually. Mine's the cushion yeah. as well, so... Right, uh, so, shall we see if we can get it finished then? Let's. We'll see. I might not get the band around the top, though. That's my worry. So uh, I mean, so, I think we'll this let you is off. The so, we can see now how that's taken shape. There's the handle. So, that's how we get that, that little section on there. So, in good Blue Peter style, he's won that I was on with yesterday. I had a busy day yesterday. I had a busy day. Ta-da! <laughs> Have you just finished it that quickly? Wow. Just like that, you see. A couple that of comments quick. and I finished. So we can see there how I've got that handle on in there. And then I've done that trim as well. And I've inserted that and we saw that. And so you're getting the full instructions there and you're getting the video as well to, to put it all together. Okay. All oh, your luscious locks getting on your microphone I know, there. I'm it's because, in the way of me it's because you've been using that new shampoo. You're like, I know I thought I'll, I'll leave it down. I'll you've leave got it down. Beautiful Pocahontas <laughs> hair. Because I that's love why it. I have to keep it back. Love it. <laughs> so what we've so we've got the main part of the bag done there, and what we've got to do is put on the um, little bag tags for the D rings if we want to put a handle on, 
and saw the handle and then that binding around the top so I'll start I'll put one on and show you how it actually works so with those little d-rings what I did was put two together stitch around them and turn them through so we're getting that little bag tag now do you know what I thought would look great on these is a little bit of red faux leather nice because you've got that red there and I wish I'd thought of that before because I've got some sat on my table at home I haven't even got a scrap in my bag to, to use it. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to get, I've got the brass steerings here. These are really fab. And then you're just going to double it over there. And then you're going to position it on the outside handle. Now, this is the only bit that I would say is a little bit fiddly because you want to get it in place. And this is where pin is better than clip. Where's my pins? Uh, those brass uh, one-inch D-rings that you can see, you get six of them there for six ninety-five or four ninety-nine. Uh, half the stock of those is gone. So if they are in your basket, do think about checking those out. And then what I've done is I haven't pinned it all the way through because I don't want it to show on the other side. I've put one in here as well. And all I'm going to do is just stitch along there just to hold it in place. Awesome. Uh, so much coming up. Don't forget for the rest of the show, uh, the rest of the show, the words are the words are becoming an issue, aren't they, Bernie? <laughs> You're ready for <laughs> so home now, much Joel. coming up for the rest of the day. Don't forget is what I was going to see. Uh, don't forget myself and Sarah. We're we'll back in just over an hour. We've got a fantastic launch party. There's loads of stuff on the show, including brand new items uh, from Totally Tiffany. To Tiffany herself will be joining us uh, as well, which is fantastic. And then myself and Craig, 7 p.m. UK time, will be up with the second instalment of the Craft Vault, which is awesome. Loads of other stuff to look forward to throughout the week as well Ben's back with you for three days uh, as of tomorrow uh, he will be hosting uh, or alongside Sarah the HSM preview as well on Thursday evening uh, here in the UK which will be 2 p.m. Eastern time so make sure you've got that marked in your calendar too so I've just fed the other one end of the bag strap through the other end of the D-ring and then I'm just going to stitch along there and I always like to do a reverse stitch as well whenever you're putting something on because you just want to make sure it's going to stay on. Because obviously, if you're going to be putting your, um, your new makeup in that you buy in a perfume, it needs to be, needs to have a little bit of strength on there. So you're going to put all of those on, on each side. Awesome. So I'm just going to pin that out the way for now and I'll just quickly do a little bit of the binding just to show you how that works as well. So with the binding, again, you use that same strip die where you fold it over, it tells you how long it needs to be and then you're just going to press it wrong sides together in half like that. And then it doesn't matter where you start, but I would probably start on maybe this one of the longer bits here rather than on the top. You don't want to have a join on the top. And then you're just going to pop it on, like right sides together, leave a bit of a tail for joining. And if ever you've made a quilt before, it's pretty much the same way that you put binding on for a, for a quilt. We're going to sew it on. If not, again, we give you those instructions. So I'm just making a quarter inch seam on my machine there. And then all you're going to do is just gently go around and stitch it on and it'll be one continuous piece and then when you get to the end you're going to join it and then you're going to fold it to the other side and either machine stitch it down or hand stitch it if you prefer to hand stitch and just make sure you get that other side of the line and caught in and just work your way around just to get it on so I say I didn't I didn't think I've got uh, at least I've gone through each little bit though Joe haven't I and give the Mm, absolutely we've seen all of it which is the important yeah. thing and the great thing is it doesn't matter if we haven't seen it because remember full video tutorials available for pretty much uh, for loads of the stuff that's in the show but these bags you've got full videos for them online which is awesome so you know you've got all the instruction that you need there ready to go uh, exactly when you need it which is fantastic uh, now we've got about a couple minutes left. Whilst you're just finishing that off, Bernie, do you know what? Why don't I take a moment to recap some of the awesome things that you've seen uh, whilst 
um, Bernie finishes off that bag. Uh, don't forget about the fabric bundle. Uh, how are we doing on the stock of the fabric bundle? Very, very busy uh, on this. Uh, over three quarters of the stock gone now. Uh, if it's in your basket, definitely think about checking it out. What you're going to get is six awesome half meters of quilting quality fabric cotton for that yours will be folded by the way it won't look like tissues um for that great price i'm just going to put that there for a minute there we go for a great price there uh, well i'll just change the details for you so you can see uh, the mystery bag 20 pounds uh if you are here in the uk 25 dollars becomes 16 pounds or 20 dollars if you are a club inspire platinum member so don't miss out on that don't also forget about the uh, cutter that we had, which is always awesome, that fabric cutter, along with the A2 folding cutting mat. £65 if you're in the UK, $89. That becomes £52 or $71.20 if you are in the US. Now, we've also got for you the um, mighty, uh, the Hawaiian uh, applique dies uh, which we've got for you which you can see just here super super busy on those four different dies in there for you the saving is incredible 119.96 but you get it for 35.98 or 139.80 down to 41.94 if you don't own them grab them they are a multimedia dies as well so it means they'll cut fabric they'll cut uh, um, cotton fabric they'll cut faux leather uh, even things like craft metal and bolter with a whole host of different things that mitre tool and absolutely essential as well remember you've got that on the show for you today it's in a bundle with those heat erasable markers there as well 16.50 or 22 dollars if you want to get your hands on those ones right how are you getting on over the over there bernie are you all done you've got less than a minute left so we did it in the nick of time we nearly did i've got i've got all the binding on that just needs to be turned over and stitched down awesome. so all the bindings on there and i've just got this other side handle to do um, and then pop the other one on and then it's finished. Awesome. Well, uh, can I say, Bernie, it's been an absolute pleasure being back with you uh, in the studio for a couple of hours today. I've loved every single minute of it. Don't forget, if you are only just joining us now, you've missed part of the show, you can go back and watch it at any time over on our website, Crafters Companion. .co.uk, .com or .eu. The favourite demo of the show was the cushion. The cushion. That needs to go into the catwalk of creativity, uh, I'm being told. So uh, make sure you've got an hour. Yay! So make sure you join me back here in an hour with Sarah. Massive thanks to Bernie. Big thanks to you guys at home. See you back here in an hour. Take care.